Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Referee for this event, Tom Lawler. That's tough. To, uh, As you're right, I, three I, fight three I, rounds, and I do remember that he just <laughs> he yeah. got into the ring with the wrong guy. Yeah. Alvin Mercer, Ray Freeman. Alvin in the red corner. Ray is in the blue corner. Here they come out, touch gloves, and the fight is on the way. Okay. I mean, Alvin should use his range. He's a lot longer than Ray. We do. Uh, the last time that we saw this, nice. we saw we saw Alvin come out and just start to punish folks. Yeah, he destroyed uh, Jonathan Vineyard. We crank it off already. Now, uh, I mean, right to the. This is only the fourth fight here already, and we are just oh, crawling right, yeah. through low these kick. between between the knees to the head on the ground low and low kicks and knots. Yeah, and, and doctor stoppages. Ray uh, is coming out really aggressive. Alvin just needs to keep his, keep his range. Will not let Ray control it so much. Okay. A couple of lefts, rights as Ray tries to move in. I, uh, Ray looks to be a little bit of aggressor here. He uh, does. I mean, he's I mean, he's super aggressive, but he's, it looks like it's his first fight. Yeah. Is it? No, I think we saw him once before. Okay. I, even though it's a 0 0, I, I, and I would have to, to, to get that confirmed. Oh, this there's a right. This there was a right. He caught it right in the temple as he was going down. And I'm telling I you, he fell asleep for a second. Alvin, man. yes, I did too. And Alvin saw it, jumped yeah. on it. Alvin on top, Ray on the bottom. Alvin Mercer is really just going to try to put this away as he threw an overhand right that caught Ray Friedman right in the left side of the head on the temple Ray and Friedman just knocked him out. Everything he could do to just hold him, and he's in mount. This one's going to get stopped soon if Ray can't defend Tom himself. Tom Lawler's going to stop it and fight this. Now he's kind of he's, he's pulled holding. up. Uh, those elbows, they do so much damage. When these fighters check in, I'm going to tell you, if you guys go back and watch this and you guys don't put in what your record is, it doesn't help us. So yeah. Ray doesn't look like a first-time fighter, but I'm and I'm uh, pretty actually, sure that I've seen him before. He, oh, way to get up, Ray. And then with the takedown, that was impressive by Ray. But Alvin ends up on top again. Alvin is terrible. Another reverse. Alvin needs to work his ground game. <laughs> That's actually what did him in last fight, too. He needs to sprawl a little bit, get the guillotine, sprawl out. Now circle around to uh, raise back. If Alvin ends up on his back, it could be back. Oh, he's got the guillotine in. Yes, he does. He just needs to sit down. Alvin. Uh, Ray's bleeding from the top of his nose. Alvin should be throwing knees right now. Alvin Mercer in the red gloves. I don't Ray think Alvin knows what a guillotine is, or he would have had this fight finished already. I was already. about to say, he's got the hold. He's just got to set him down. Drop his hips and just yeah, put just that go in. Yeah, and it's over. A little bit of blood. Ray's cut, top of his nose. And we always love it when the fighters are bleeding and they come over towards yeah, the table. Yeah, that's awesome. Go that way, guys. I'm about to say, head over towards the GCA. <laughs> yeah. That would be fantastic. They, they enjoy blood. That's right. A couple of knees from Ray Friedman, just like you were saying, Cisco. Got to get the knees up in there. Alvin should be throwing his there knees. There it is. Oh. End of round number one between both fighters. Now we saw, you know, maybe a low kick. Stop. Mercer just said, you know what, let's keep going. Then we saw him catch out uh, Ray Friedman in the left side of the head right. yeah. and just knocked him down. But then look at Ray come out of nowhere, throw a couple of moves, and then put him on the ground. And Alvin might look a little tired. Is he? No. I mean, he's he just. He looks a little winded, but. Nothing you shouldn't get after three minutes. Those guys over at Makito know how to train their fighters. Yeah. They're not, he's, he seems to be okay over there. Maybe a little out of control, but you can tell when you got some young fighters. This is one of the guys that you want to see after 10 fights. Yeah, absolutely. After Alvin's going to be impressive soon. Yeah. He needs to get a little bit more groundwork going. He needs to figure out, teach him a little bit of jiu-jitsu, yeah. a little bit of grappling, a little bit of wrestling. After that, he's going to be dangerous. Yeah. I haven't seen enough of uh, Ray Freeman to see. Both corners taking a look at their fighters, put the mouthpieces back in. They'll get the, the, the stools out, and we'll get ready to go here as we move both the fighters' corners out. Quick qu quick, <laughs> quick thing I noticed that on the McNasty fight, the reason he kept taking his mouthpiece out, he never boiled it. Oh, so it was fresh. It was just a No teeth. <laughs> no teeth, so it was just sliding out. It's straight out the package. <laughs> I love it. He stopped the dicks on the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he stopped. Just slid it in. Sports authority up the street. That here we go. Awesome. Start of round number two. Here at OO Fights, oh, Conflict nice 27. Left. Oh, Come out swinging. Left for left, I appreciate it. Got some blood coming from the nose on the bridge of the nose from Ray Friedman, where our boy Alvin Mercer kind of stung him a little bit. 
got to fight at 55. Oh, that was a nice kick by Ray Freeman. Alvin's just staying calm. Freeman seems to be this very much like, how, oh, another right hand. Alvin should just be throwing that overhand right. He's, he's got caught so much twice. range yes, on him. Yes, he does. He's, he's definitely got the range on him. Isn't Every time he charges in, he should be catching And I can that. tell you that it says Alvin Alvin Mercer is 5'10", and he definitely looks. No, uh, there's no way this kid's 5'10". He six? looks 6 foot. <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> and Ray Friedman is 5'6", and it looks like it in the ring, especially yeah. with the reach. And if you're he's right, tagging him up. he should be just throwing rights and lefts. Okay, Ray Freeman looks exhausted. Another left, right on the bridge of that nose. You see the movement stopping from Ray. That doesn't, that just sounds worse than anything yeah. else. He's definitely blocked that. Nice. Oh, take him. Yep. Actually, that was a good idea by Alvin not to go to the ground. And if he'd have caught him, though, yeah. then, I mean, Mercer would have been done. Nice. There's a right, another one in the same left, spot. right, got poked in the eye. Yeah. It's a little different when you see guys do the wrong thing in this fight than you did when you yeah. saw in the in the uh, these guys didn't fight. mean it. Yeah, <laughs> it was accidental. Friedman tries a I mean a roundhouse that almost caught him in the back of the head. It almost caught him himself in it the back of the head. Almost caught us in the back yeah. of the head. Friedman almost knocked himself almost out. Almost knocked him out. Now, now a little bit of more blood coming out of there. Nice. Right, and left for Mercer. Mercer should just be attacking with his right hand. I mean, if he just got in there and just started throwing rights and lefts, I don't know if Friedman he could do anything about it. He needs to stop running. Every time Friedman runs in with these stupid kicks, yeah, I'm um, not stupid kicks, but every time Friedman runs in with these kicks, Alvin should just be throwing right hands. Oh, wow. Oh, he's, he's stunned. Been, yeah, he is stunned. I mean, he and is. And he's bleeding from everywhere now. Yeah. Oh, Superman punch. And now, it's just, two now it's just a fight in the alley. Yeah. Now it's just Mercer just throwing. I, I don't know how much he, uh, this Friedman can keep doing this if he wants to stay fresh. He, uh, he's exhausted. I don't, you know what? I, I watched that, and it didn't even look like it caught him right there. It, it might have grazed him with the toe, and those are actually worse. I didn't even see that. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, well, that didn't catch you. you, you I don't look at the, the, uh, the kick. I look at the person's face. <laughs> you can't fake that kind of pain. <laughs> They're back fighting again as a Friedman caught oh, a little left. Oh, another one. I mean. Friedman just be throwing hooks and straights right now. Left hooks, right straights. I mean, that's another one. And you know what? Okay, look, here's what happens. You're 5'10", he's 5'6". Yeah. You don't want to get kicked there, don't he's fight He's like, me. don't talk to him. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. You know what? Now we're going to take a point. Now we're going to take a point for low kick. And we got a, a guy who's. Alvin's got a little heart with him. He said, don't talk to him. Let's go. Yeah. But he's got time now. Now, when yeah, this happens, five, five, minutes. five minutes. But this, because Alvin's in control, I don't know if he wants to give up that momentum. Right. That's where it gets a little tough to decide, do you want to recover all the way? No, nah, he's ready to go now, he's saying. Ray Friedman does definitely has some blood coming down the yeah. side of his face off the bridge of that nose. We've taken away that point. Here we go. We're starting to fight. Tom Lawler cranks it back up. Both fighters standing in the middle. Mercer in the red gloves, Friedman in the blue nah. gloves. Ten seconds. <laughs> Somebody needs to tell Friedman that's just the ten-second mark not to stop. <laughs> Should have kept going. There's oh, a good yeah. right foot. Oh! Oh! oh. And Whoa. it's the end of the round, and I think Is that it? is... No, oh, the fight's it's over. He just, the fight's over. just stopped it. Wow. I I'm mean, with one second kill. left, with one second left in round number two, Mercer catches Friedman with an overhand right and just knocks him cold. Yeah, I was, I'm impressed by that kid. Every once fight. that kid gets his, uh, once he gets his ground up, that is he's a, gonna start looking really, really unreal good. Unreal overhand right. All right, we'll be right back with fight number five.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for both these fighters as Ray Friedman's down on the ground. The doctors check him out, hops back up. Good fight from both fighters. Referee Tom Lawler stops the fight in between the second and third rounds. Winner, out of the red corner, Alvin Mercer. Great job, Ray.